Hi, my name is Chris. I'm the Rustic Caveman. Uh, a couple weeks ago, maybe a little bit more than that, we received our uh, Starlink. I was on the waiting list for a couple of years and uh, noticed recently that I was given the option to um, take the best effort option. And then when my, I guess when my name comes up for residential, it would be an automatic upgrade. Um, since how I'm on cellular and I have a limited amount of bandwidth, I went ahead and went for the best effort. And uh, I'll show you how I'll make this work later on. But for right now, let's open this box. It's been sitting around forever. I believe, I'm not going to guarantee it, but I think I've got the second generation dish box. Oh, that's heavy. There's your router. Dish, 100 feet of cable, or 75 feet of cable, and these three-step hookup card. There's a groove that this thing slips in. There's that. I have power. I have this funky little box. This is uh, sealed, so it looks like it actually might be able to sit outside. Anyway, so those are its parts. This is the Ethernet adapter that allows me to plug it into my current router. All right. So, this goes into this. Okay, I guess I could read the directions, but this looks like it plugs into this. Looks like it's supposed to snap in. Okay, that's into that. This gets plugged into this, and uh, then we turn it on. So let me go get the components placed, get the wire or the cable run up into the into the uh, warehouse, and uh, see how she does. All right, we have the dish sitting there. Cable running along here. I had to cut a much larger hole to get it up into the thing. I 
I've got it sitting up there in the loft. There's the Ethernet adapter part. I'll get that plugged in as soon as the Wi-Fi works. All right, let's uh, try to install this thing. Okay, what's the location? I'll say, well, it's using the app. I think this is the one that we have, confirm. On an open area. Okay, did that. Run your camera up. Okay, I did a scan through a bunch of green dots all over the place. Oh, now we got more of a scan. I'll scan the entire sky. That's what we're supposed to do. Okay. Well, I'm not going to do that while well, I hold the camera because it hurts. All right, we scanned the entire sky. It's a view results. So I'm waiting for it to finish processing. Okay, looks like I have to do this outside. Still waiting for this thing to finish processing. My desk is a mess, I know. Still waiting for it to process. I may have to reboot the phone. Start setup. Choose my dish. Confirm. Find a location. I have a location. All right, everything's plugged in. Open Wi-Fi settings. And Starlink shows up. I just want to sign in. Okay. Um, on this screen here, I can click this button here, which is all the settings for the Starlink uh, router. And then I click just right here to sign into the network. So give me a moment to sign in. Okay, now the, basically what happened is after I set it up, the it reconnect the settings and now I've got to enter the password again. Auto reconnect, connect. It says it's offloading, so I'm hoping it's just being rebooted. Seems like more and more of these videos are, are uh, finalizing here in the uh, war room. Uh, basically what happened is uh, the wife came in, had some other stuff to talk about. Um, so I just rebooted the phone again. The uh, Starlink system connected. Everything was good to go. Next thing I did was I took the Ethernet cable out of the little Ethernet adapter, took the 
uh, cellular connection out of the router and replace it with the Starlink connection. On the phone, there's, little, there's an option there where you can basically turn the Starlink router off. Still have to have powered in and you still have to have it connected, but you can turn off the radio on the Wi Fi for, the, for that unit. And that piped everything into the router. Now, the directions uh, that Jay Christina put out on how to do this. Uh, he basically wanted you to factory reset the router. I'd already spent too much time putting that router, getting all the settings in that router, and I knew that I was set up for DACP for the WAN connection anyway. So I, after I plugged in the Starlink, I turned it off, turned it on, um, and everything came up. Um, just like I was using the cellular connection, all the settings stayed put the way they're supposed to be. Uh, most of them are static for all the actual components like the access points and the switches and things like that. Um, and that router, that old router that I've got, handles the DACP for the internal network. So, swapping out the WAN and the reboot and everything came up fine. Not had a problem. I started walking around to the different uh, locations, settings, um, mom's tablet, their TV, our TV, their, um, their TiVo, and, and started getting everything connected onto the network and starting, starting to see what kind of a performance hit I was going to get. Now, as, you mentioned before, as I mentioned before, um, I, was, I went with the best effort option in order to get it sooner. So that meant, I'm not talking about it today. So that meant that um, my upload speeds were going to be, you know, reduced. My downloads going to be reduced. But anything is better than what we had. So it is an improvement. Everything is working better. There are some things that I learned after getting the system set up. One. When you click on a YouTube video or you click on a web page or something, you have that slight delay before it comes in. Um, nature of the beast. There's a latency. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, I've dealt with um, HughesNet um, and stuff like that. That was horrific. Um, there's a slight latency, but once you connect to like the YouTube channel or whatever, then the video plays fine. No problem, no buffering, no issues. Um, so, if you can deal with that little bit of delay in the connect, everything's great. Uh, Mom was running her TiVo, her tablet. We were in our cabin watching um, movies on Roku. Uh, all the systems here are connected to it. And sitting idle, both our phones were connected to it, Dad's phone was connected to it, and pretty much everything was in use, except for the, the systems up here. And we didn't have any problems at all. Upload speeds uh, are anywhere between 22 and 24, or download speeds, I'm sorry. Download speeds are, are um, 22, 24. Upload seems to be between 4 and 9. That's better than what we had, so that's, that's pretty good. I'm happy with it. One big thing that I ran into after getting everything set up, and that was outbound emails. Uh, Starlink blocks port 25, which is what your SMTP server goes out on uh, if you're not um, if you're not running SSL or anything like that. Um, so I had to change that on all my server accounts. Once that was taken care of, and I've got that off to a different port. Um, everything's been working fine. So, we are, this is Wednesday, so we are four days into it, and that is what we found out. Everything works great still. I'm happy with it. Uh, tomorrow I should be getting the accumulator, or it's, it's a dual WAM port, um, little unit that allows me to either set up a failover from... Uh, Starlink to the cellular, or um, or I should be able to aggregate them together. Uh, if I can, I need to be able to set a limit on the cellular because there's a 300 gig ba uh, uh, cap on it, and I'll need to make sure that 
the system is aware of that so it doesn't go over. Other than that, the next video on the Starlink setup uh, will be that. And I will probably go ahead and pick up a new router because this router has flaked out on me a couple of times now in just a week and a half. So it's time is done. It's an old router. Uh, it's been through it. Uh, I had it in my store for two and a half years and um, we, you just you don't see don't get that kind of time out of a router anymore especially the consumer grades they're, they're they're junk anyway so that's where we're at close the video uh if you like these kind of videos leave a comment if you don't like these kind of videos well don't watch them or leave a comment i'll, I'll take the comment that'd be nice Again, I'm trying to grow the channel, so share it with everybody you can think of that might be interested in this. This is real-world application, um, getting Starlink to work in a rural environment. Rural environment has also been upgraded to have a mesh network, so if you didn't catch that video, go a couple back. That video is there. And it's basically a description of how I put together the mesh network for the farm to be able to bring everything under the same quote-unquote network um anyway that's it chris what's the caveman y'all have a good night thanks